Hello everyone, welcome to the Collider coverage at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. We are kicking off our interview suite with a very special group of people. I'm sitting here with some of the cast from ABC's Emergence. <laughs> I watched the pilot yesterday, congratulations. I had a lot of fun with it. One thing that I was left with though after is that obviously there's a really big mystery at play here, but there's some very deep character arcs that we're starting to experience. So I'm curious, what were the first questions that you had for the team behind the story? Was it more about the big picture of the sci-fi nature of the show or your characters? Literally my first question was, would I have to wear a cop uniform every day? <laughs> day in and day out. Yeah, yes, please, for me. I'm okay <laughs> with that. And um, he was like, I want to wear yeah, one yeah, all day, every day. No variation. Let's keep it simple. Yeah. yeah. And I think today was, you know, how much can we actually talk about without ruining the mystery? You know, and that's no. the tricky, that's been the trickiest thing for us. It's well, like, can we, we talk about that? Or We found out, like, big reveals at different times. Yeah. Uh, about like our characters, about other me. characters. Like, yeah. we found out. I was just born <laughs> in blind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we made it work. You yeah. Know? We've had a lot of those conversations where people go, did you know that in episode so-and-so, you're going to be this or this? And you're like, oh, that is. Yeah, totally. That is news. That is news. Yeah. Yeah, how much do you know when you first commit to a show like this? Do you only know what happens in the pilot? Yo, it, I, get, I think it depends, but for me, yes, absolutely. I read the pilot, and I was like, this is amazing. I want to be a part of that. I hope I don't die in one of the rewrites. But if I do, I'll get a lot of sympathy, and then maybe they'll like bring me back, and that could be even better. Um, so, yeah, exactly. That's, that's what my thought process is, just letting you in. On right. that I always joke stuff. that like, I think like actors are like sort of animals at the zoo. It's like, don't feed them too much information in case they get too attached to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah. totally. It's been yeah. on a need-to-know basis. Yeah. Oh, you know? what a way to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alison, I'm curious uh, how you approach Joe specifically and what were kind of like the pillars of the character you wanted to hit because walking away from the pilot, I was so struck by the combination of warmth and also the safety I felt from her in just yeah. a single episode. Yeah, I mean, I think um, what I really wanted to do is make sure that she was uh, sort of like nurturing and caring and like like you say, like warm and really felt like a person that, uh, that we trusted with this kid and that we wanted to be around, but I didn't want her to come off as just like, I'm just a mom, like I just love kids and like, look at that poor kid, I just want to help that kid. Like I, I wanted her to be driven by uh, being good at her job and just like a common sort of sense of common decency. And, and she uh, knows that she could win kids over with razzles. And that's a very important candy. lesson to <laughs> learn. Candy, 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 candy. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. feel like I'm just going to play that game by myself. And that's going to be weird, <laughs> but it's fine. No. Uh, Robert, we were obviously talking about the night shift before. Yeah. So going from doctor to cop, is there anything about adjusting to a different profession that was more challenging than that? Well, I think all my roles uh, center around being not that great at the profession. Um, and so <laughs> as long as I just keep that in mind, I figure it out as I go along. Um, but yeah, I, I think one, not having to change wardrobe a lot, really key in my contract. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, no, it, it was definitely, I think, a different sense of uh, authority that you walk around with in completely different fields. You know, you have people's lives in your hands in, in different ways. And so um, how you carry that around in your body is a bit different. Um, and then also just what level that you're at. I think by the end of night shift, I was really, really good at my job and like professional and people trusted me. I'd gone a long way. So kind of running that back a bit to the young, eager, like wanting to be good at what they do uh, is an interesting transition for me, but it's a lot of fun, you know? I feel like you could make a whole career out of just taking a character through the very beginnings of their <laughs> career all the way to being an absolute pro. That, that is kind of the plan, but you know. <laughs> What's the next profession you would want to hit? Um, I think lawyer is the obvious Yeah, that's uh, the next, next one. Step. But if we don't want to be too obvious, uh, I want to do something in the rodeo. <laughs> Clowning? Clowning. So Clowning. Or a vet. I don't love it. The, the crumping clowner. The uh, crumping <laughs> clowner? That sounds like a great I'm show. I'm writing this tomorrow. In his early <laughs> years. In his early years, yeah. <laughs> I'm into it. And Owen with Ben, we've only really scratched the surface of what he's up to. Is it journalism all from like a conspiracy theory perspective? Is that kind of his background? <laughs> You know, I think it's interesting. He's obviously a, he's obviously a little bit of an agitator from what we've seen, and he's someone who likes to hide behind humor. But I think there's you know there's definitely an agenda at play. You know, there's a nice kind of gray area right now where we're at in the pilot, certainly where we don't know what his true intentions are. But he's you know, and while there's there, there's plenty of banter between us, I think there is you know there, there's a serious desire to get his job done. I think he uses the humor as a deflection, but ultimately, and I think as the series progresses, we're going to realize that there is a uh, you know there's a personal and a professional agenda. At play for sure. Hmm. 
Interesting. Did you uh, build his background at all, like things that he had worked on in the past to kind of land him in the spot? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I did a whole mock portfolio of stories for, no, I wish I had. <laughs> and then you could do a prequel series. This all makes sense. Yeah. Benny, exactly. <laughs> Benny the early years, and maybe I'll get Robert to play me. Yeah, yeah that would be an infant. Yeah. Yeah. So at Collider, we actually play a would you rather like TV movie version often. And because you brought it up on the show, it kind of gave me an excuse to play it with you guys okay. right now. So yeah. they're all cool. performance related questions, uh, movie TV related questions. So first up, <laughs> would you rather sign 100 posters or spend 10 minutes doing red carpet interviews? 100 posters. I Well, I have really terrible handwriting. So that, because I just think the look on people's faces would bring me joy. Just like, what is that? Um, that'd be really hilarious. You're I imagine you though. signing every yeah. single poster completely differently now. Yeah, yeah. it's a great call. Yeah. yeah, I think I'd have to go with the posters as well. It's, you know, I guess you could do that in isolation alone and sort of, And you it's know, a little zen. Like, when you yeah. really sign a lot of things and you're just like, mm, that's the word. Like, <laughs> Like, that doesn't have any meaning anymore. It's what Alison does for relaxation. You know, outside yeah. of the show, just she's like, just signing posters all the time. Just practicing yeah. my autograph. <laughs> well, you have to go and sign that gigantic poster we have we, on, yes. what is it, the wall of Petco Park? It's yeah. a very, it's a very, my face is very large. <laughs> what is it like seeing something like that for the first time? Because I can't even begin to imagine. It's bizarre. <laughs> Owen captured a picture of me looking at it. I, I have yeah, a, we can't I, show we have it to you. Well, it'll be poster. online. <laughs> <laughs> very Check soon. Out coming our to Instagram. Instagram very soon once it's been approved. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's surreal. It's very strange. Very purple. Yeah. It's and it's beautiful uh, yeah. color scheme. Yeah. yeah, it is. Really, Alexa is the one. I wish we could see Alexa seeing it. Yeah. Alexa, Aww. like see, watch like experiencing all this through a kid's uh, perspective is just the most yeah, fun yeah. thing. It's you really, really cool. You stand in front of it and reenact it. No, stop! I you love that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have to fake sneeze or fake vomit in a scene? I'm going to go yeah. with vomit. I think I could fake vomit easier than fake sneeze. And I don't have a guy. I'm, I, I, I'm not like, oh, that would also make me actually vomit. Some people like have sensitive, like, like that's why sneezing. that is crossed off my list forever really? and ever and ever. Like never. if you pretended yeah. to vomit, you'd be like, oh, now I should. Or it's like when you see someone else yeah. really vomit, then you get that in your head and you you, you feel it coming yeah, on, even I don't if it's have not. That. I did. I did a movie where I had to fake vomit, and I had a mouth full of like it was something like noodle soup or something. Oh. And, yeah. and it, well, but that's half the work done for you. Do you know what I mean? Was yeah. the fake sneeze? You have to really, I did really it with some like. Juice. Like yeah. I had a chunky juice and a I chunky. Had to put that out. <laughs> you guys are missing the the call. It's the sneeze because it's adorable every time. <laughs> <laughs> and you're Wait. not going to hurt your throat um, like if you're he like you guys are all wrong on that one. It's got to be a convincing fake, fake sneeze, sneeze though. No, no, no. Yeah. My, yeah. Do you have a my real sneeze are adorable. Do you have a little taste of your fake sneeze? <laughs> I don't, but I'll okay. like just <laughs> mid it, midway, yeah. midway through like one of your, your responses, you'll, you'll hear it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. All right, let's see if we can get one more in. All right, let's go with would you rather have to eat a lot in a scene or run a lot in a scene? Uh, oh. Definitely would love to eat all the time, all the things. That's tough. I have. I'm a bottomless pit. Well, <laughs> to be fair, you can eat, but also you can spit. You can not swallow things. Or just. But you can't really do it. fake run all all day. I, I made. Mm. The, I you made can the, fake eating, but you can't. You're, fake you're run. right. I and I feel like I was made fun of for my running as a child, so it's probably a thing <sighs> from that. In the back of your head. Yeah, yeah it was awkward for a while. Yes. I made an ill-advised decision to start eating as a character choice on The Mentalist, and I spent the first couple seasons just eating an awful lot <laughs> until I realized that character calories were real calories. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, there's no way of separating these two. I appear to be getting a lot larger by all this eating, so I think I'll go with the fake running for sure. Right, yeah, well, yeah, you yeah. seem to have bounced back from yeah. that experience Thank you. quite yeah. well. <laughs> a lot Again, of fake running. Guys, <laughs> huge congratulations. Congratulations Thank on you. the pilot. Emergence, everyone. Tuesday, September 24th, 10, 9 central on ABC. Check it out. Another thank you to this crew here. And guess what? If you want more Emergence talk, we've got a whole nother interview with the group it's behind the be show. It's going to be wild. Coming your way real soon. So wait for this end card. Then click that button and check it out.